The Army's collaboration with industry partners brings energy diversity and cost avoidance to Team Redstone. On Friday, February 23rd, Lieutenant General Ed Daly, AMC's Deputy Commanding General and Redstone's Senior Commander, joined Army and Redstone leaders to cut the ribbon on a new solar energy and battery storage system. We live in an era of rapidly evolving technology and for nearly eight decades, from the beginning of America's journey into the exploration of missiles in space until present, Redstone Arsenal has been at the forefront of Army transformation. The solar-powered system generates about 10 megawatts of energy and is coupled with a 1 megawatt, 2 megawatt an hour battery storage energy system. That's enough energy annually to power about 2,500 homes for a year. That's a lot of juice, don't you think? The project embraces energy resilience by adding diversity to Redstone's energy supply and adds operational flexibility, something desperately needed in 2011 when a historic number of tornadoes wreaked havoc across Alabama and left Redstone Arsenal relying on generators for multiple days. The decision was made that we need to have some kind of redundancy in order to protect our security, and this is a part of that redundancy. Now, uh, if we have all the power lines that go down, around Redstone Arsenal, which is what the tornadoes did. And so with this redundancy, what we've done is we've created a situation where even if things get really bad, at least national security will not be as great a risk. So that the next time it happens, and we know that it will, history says that it will, the next time it happens, the critical functions of Redstone Arsenal will be able to proceed uninterrupted. The new solar panels stretch across 114 acres of leased land and will reduce costs by $80,000 per year, resulting in $1.5 million in savings over a 27-year power purchase agreement. From Army Material Command's Public Affairs Office, I'm Joseph Givens.